Hello. Um, first off, I have to say I just woke up. That'll explain the hat, because I got a little bit of a crazy bad hair here, and I'm still in my pajamas. But, I want to do a little video here quick. Um, some of my reviews that I'm going to be doing, it's not going to be for a while, because I still have a bunch of actual ones, books that I've already read that i got to do reviews on like a ton, but a few of my reviews now, I might actually not have the comic book on hand to like show you. Uh, I actually found this little thing called, it's called Comic Book Lover, and anybody that doesn't know, I had no idea what it was until yesterday, but it's actually like, it's almost like iTunes, it's like, I'd say it's similar to iTunes. It's like digital comic books where you can get a comic book and then just put it in to like this library and then click on it and it pops up. You can go full screen and just read it on your computer. It's like awesome. And it's a lot cheaper than like having to go back and buy some of these comic books. Like because some of them I was going the with uh, I was buying the paperbacks because that was cheaper but still like the Walking Dead paperbacks I probably have from 1 to 13, I have probably about $120, $130 into it. But this way, I can get them and read them right on there and then do a review on each comic. Like Invincible, I just bought Invincible, and I'm partway through the first paperback. But now I'm on Comic Book Lover, I have the first, I think, like 50 or 60 issues. So then I can go issue by issue and do reviews. I'm just not going to have the actual comic book to show you. Like maybe sometime I'll do a, uh, I'll break out my flip video and do it that way so I can like show the, like the cover on the screen and stuff. But if anybody wants any details on Comic Book Lover, you can uh, send me a message through on this video or maybe you can put it in my inbox on YouTube. Uh, here's a couple things that I picked up I'll throw in on this video. I just went to the comic book store and I thought these were pretty cheap. Like this is an earlier issue. I got Walking Dead number 37. It's in like perfect condition. And I bought, I bought it for four dollars. And so I thought that was a pretty good deal because we're up to what 81 now and I, I saw like the Walking Dead like really early issues are like ridiculous but maybe in a couple of years this this might be a little more valuable here's something <coughs> that I had to jump on this is the earliest one they had they had issue 2 but it was in like the second or third printing they didn't have issue 3 but they did have issue 4 first printing Chew, number four. And if this takes off the way that I, well, issue one's always already like super expensive because it was like pretty limited. But if this ever took off, this if this I love this comic book, I love it. And if this ever took off, like say Walking Dead did issue four, I pay three dollars and fifty cents for it, first printing, and. Who knows, in three or four years, this might be a 40 or $50 comic book. If you look at Walking Dead number four, it's a pretty expensive book. So for $3.50, I had to jump on this because I have a feeling that if they keep this comic going, which I'm pretty sure they're going to, in four or five years, like I'll have a... And if it ever does take off, this thing is in amazing condition and this might be one that I get sent. To get graded but here's my shoe number four that I picked up at the comic book shop I really wanted to get what, what else was I looking for I can't remember I was looking for something else but I couldn't find it does and does anybody understand like I don't know why Walking Dead number 79 I should have bought it at the comic book store they had like five of them and they were selling for like four bucks each but on eBay, Walking Dead 79, I've seen them go, f I've, 
I just looked at him and I seen him going for like any place from like ten to like twenty dollars for number seventy nine. I don't know. Like there's nothing like major that, hap that happened in number seventy nine. So I don't know what's with the collectability of this issue. I wish I was back at the comic book store because I would have bought bought them all and sold them on eBay. But uh if anybody knows about seventy nine why it's so expensive on eBay, I know it's not like it's like rare or anything. It's number seventy nine. But if anybody knows the answer to that question, please let me know. Cause I can't figure it out. And more reviews are gonna be coming at you.